Hello guys, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the post detail so that users can view the detail of a post when they click on the post. So let me actually show you guys um, like a quick overview of what we'll be doing. So you might actually understand what, we'll, okay, um, firstly, we need to log into the admin. So I'm going to log in with a username and password I created earlier in the other videos. So I'm just going to log in here. So right now, as you can see, we can list out um, posts and we can create new posts for now. We don't have any, um, we don't have any link where we can click to create a new post, but don't worry, we're still going to fix that. So we can come over to new post and choose a file. So let's say, um, I'm just going to choose any file. Let me hop over to my stock images and let's say I want, I want to go with this one. Then I'm going to, let me just put in the, the title is Halloween and the hashtag is going to be Halloween October and what else should we put in there let's put scary something like that and hit post so when we hit post what do you notice it gets um to this place and as you can see it's a new post for now we don't have any function to like or whatever so the next function that we want to create is so that when a user click on this they can actually go to the detail page and view the post from there okay so in order to do that we need to go ahead and open up um a, a code editor i'll be using sublime text official studio you can use whatever you want to use as you can see our visual studio over here already and I stay off sublime text so you could use whatever you want to use so what we want to do is simply um, come over to the post application you remember we have a post app then come over to views.py now we want to create a new function but before that I want to import something over here I want to import get object of 404 so I'm gonna say get object or 404 just like that okay then down here I simply want to define post detail post detail just like this and I'm gonna pass in requests and I also need to pass in post ID so you remember in the models.py over here in the posts we have this ID over here that helps us get each and every one of those posts so each um, and every one of those posts have a specific ID um, let me actually hop over to the admin hop over to post and let me see is my my I think something is wrong with my server okay i think i i need to just comment this out for now and it's working again so okay so this is the the new post that we created now as you can see this id over here that's what helps us recognize that this post is the halloween post this one that we created over here so each and every one of the posts here have gotten different ids so that's how we recognize each and every one of those posts take notes they have different ideas so what we're doing here is simply passing requests and we're going to pass in post id because we want to actually view the detail of one post okay hopefully you understand now from here the next thing we want to do is simply get the, a post so we're going to say post should be um get object or 404 that we that we imported from here now what we're going to do is simply pass in post in there so we're going to pass in post and want to get the post by a particular post id so hopefully you understand now we are we are passing in posts which is all the posts that we have now we don't want to get all the posts when we click on just a single post like this rather i want to get the particular id of the post that we clicked on hopefully you understand now the next thing we're going to do is um go ahead and um let's just define the context for now we're still going to do other things in there but for now let's just go ahead and see if this works if this doesn't work then we'll come my then we'll come over here again and fix any error that we are getting so like this let me put this and let me put this in here like that now i also want a return render it's gonna take in request and the template should be okay let's say it's gonna be um post dash details post dash details dot html and we also need to pass in a context just like that now we need to create a url for it hop over to url copy this and paste so now i'm gonna come over to post slash Firstly, before this, uh, I'm going to head back to our IGPRG and open up the URLs.py. So over here, I want to add in post slash so that when we come over here now, for example, let's say we, okay, I'm, that's going to give me an error. So um, let me just come over here and comment this out for now. Okay. This should work right now. 
okay so right now when we come over here we need to come over to slash posts in order to see this and if you want to create a new post we need to come over to slash post slash new posts to create a new post hopefully you understand now we need to come over to slash post slash a specific id to get that specific post hopefully you understand now in order to do that what we want to do is simply um call part then we're gonna call um you're gonna open up like a double angle brackets like that now the next thing we're gonna do is simply pass in uuid uuid just like that then there's gonna be a, a colon then we'll pass in post id just like that that's what we we need then you remember it was called post detail then this name should be let's just say post dash detail post detail yeah okay so with this now let's try refreshing this page it's working now how about we want to go to like a particular post now let's pick up this id over here for the halloween and we're going to come over to post slash we'll paste that what do you notice it's working but it says there is no template so we need to go ahead and create a template for it in here we're simply going to right click click on new file and we're going to save this and call it post dash d sale let me see okay post post dash details dot html just like that now when we refresh you see now we have something over here okay so in here now we can simply just say um let's just say post dot picture post dot picture dot url um we need to pass this into an image tag i don't know i was actually lost for a sec then we need to say post dot picture dot url now when we refresh this as you can see we get in this halloween post thing over here now i don't want to manually put in the id over here i want to actually click on the post then get it so we don't want to do that we need to hop over to index.html and we need to locate the for loop so you can remember it's in for post in post and this is an image over here so we simply need to add in okay that's not the image i think um i think this should be the image over here so we need to add an a tag over here like that and we need to call the url so we're gonna say url is called post dash detail now we need to pass in the particular uuid if you remember now it's going to be called post dot id just like that so make sure you are ending off the the a tag somewhere um let me see i think i did the wrong thing okay make sure you are ending off the a tag somewhere here like that and i want to remove the word drop for this okay so with this now let's refresh see it's working fine when we hover look at this place down here as you can see the urls are changing now when we click on this we get this and now when we click on this we get this also um actually why is this way too small um whatever we're still gonna fix that now we'll click on this we get this too okay so that's pretty much what we want to do now the next thing we are going to do is simply um um let me see let me see what's wrong actually let me come over here let me try adding a wheat let me say no 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 that's not what i want i want a wheat let me say the wheat is going to be 100 px okay here yeah, that's pretty much what we wanted let me say 400 px let's put in 600 px okay yeah, that's it and now how about the height yeah the height should be okay okay so now when we click on this as you can see we get the image when we click on this too as you can see we get the image so um what we want to do now is just go ahead and make the post detail page look good as you can see it's not looking um any better now so when we click on this now we want it to look good with the title and everything just like that now i think i already have um that's built out hopefully let me see uh, over here templates instagram um i have th this detail page over here i'm just gonna copy this and let me paste it in here and let's see how it's looking now when i click on this okay that's looking way way too bad i'm simply gonna copy all this so that i am gonna so that i can extend yeah so i can extend now what i'm gonna do is simply get rid of this paste that in there and i'm gonna copy this one and let's say i'm gonna paste it in here and say end block okay how's this gonna look um yeah not bad so what we simply want to do is locate the the parts where the image is gonna be loading up i think i think um the image should be loading up here just like here so we're gonna open up double curly brackets i'm gonna say post dot picture dot url now when we refresh oh oh we're getting it in there that's not where we wanted it to show up 
now we want it to show up somewhere hmm um this is a button this is a button this is a button let's see let's see in here okay okay yeah that's it now when we come over here and click on any of this as you can see it shows up in here now just like um other things that we need to do we need to go ahead let me see this svg over here i can just go ahead and close out the word wrap so it looks way more better now for the 30 minutes ago we are simply gonna do post dot posted you see february now we can even filter the dates let's say dates should be um firstly we need date we need month then we need year okay let's add a comma over here a comma okay so that's where we want now for this this should be post the caption so this should be post dot caption this should be liked by let's see how we did for the index let's see liked okay okay this is how we did it for the index i'm just going to copy that come over here and i'm going to paste that in there just like that push it all the way down to that side as you can see this one i've gotten 10 likes let's see um click on this 12 likes 10 likes yeah that's it that's what we wanted so post dot likes post dot caption post dot date now what else yeah i think that should be it we've got okay we still need the hashtags let's um head over to the home page now we still need the hashtag so we're going to come over to index and we simply need to look for the hashtags then copy it okay okay this is the hashtag over here i'm simply going to copy it and i'm going to paste it just below the the caption so just below the caption over here i'm going to paste the hashtag click on this okay not there but here okay as you can see that's the hashtag right there looking good not bad so um i think that should be it with the post detail um yeah that should be it right now everything is working as expected in the next video we're going to go ahead and work with the hashtag so that when we click on this hashtag it will open up another page where we're going to see all the posts that has this hashtag hopefully you understand what i'm talking about when we click on this hashtag it's going to open up another page where we're going to see all the posts that has these hashtags so that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned how to create a post detail in django now in the next video we're going to go ahead and work with the hashtag i already told you guys that make sure to drop a like consider subscribing and also drop a comment if you have any issue i'll be there to help you out i hope i'll see you guys in the next video for now mad love peace out